Hey everyone, happy holidays and welcome back to Tip of the Week. In this week's video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly create a holiday card using On One Photo Raw 2021. Inside of Photo Raw, to create our holiday card, I've taken in a family photograph and I'm inside of the edit module right now where I can start modifying the look of our scene. To create a holiday card, we need to change up the canvas size of this shot. To do that, I'm going to head up to my top bar and I'm going to go to File, Canvas Size. In my canvas size, I need to create a typical holiday card dimension. A typical holiday card dimension is around five by seven or four by six. So let's use a five by seven. I'm just gonna go down to my lock proportions and I'm going to disable that, allowing me to type in whatever dimensions I want. So I'll just type in five by seven. Now, once I choose apply, it's going to create a canvas size that's smaller than my image. That's not a big deal. We can always resize our holiday layer over here, our family photo layer to fit the canvas size that we're working with. So let's just hit apply. And you can see it's a lot smaller now, not a big deal. I'm just gonna hit V on my keyboard. That's going to grab me my transform tool here. And I can start modifying where this image is placed and also the size of it. So I'm just going to hold down shift and grab one of these corners here and I'm just going to pull it in until it's a lot smaller. Now you can also do the same thing with the scale option up here, but I'm just very used to using these corners to resize, so that's what I'm doing. Now with this image, I want it to overlap the edges here and I don't want any gaps in between on the size of this photo. So let's just make it a little bit bigger and then we'll pull it in so that there's no gaps on the edges. Maybe down a little bit more. Perfect. So now we have our photo placed in our canvas. The next thing we need to do is give it a backdrop. To give it a backdrop, I'm going to head over to my layers over here and I'm going to add a new color fill layer. To add a color fill layer, I can just select this icon here and I'm just going to give it a completely white color fill layer. Then I'll drag my color fill layer below my holiday layer and I'll just rename this background. And now we have a white background that we can use to add different creative elements onto. The next thing I wanna do is add on some text onto the top area and the bottom area of this image to really make it look like a holiday card and a greeting card. So let's head over to our tool well and I'm going to select on the text option here. For my text, I wanna use a nice creative looking handwritten text that gives off that holiday card feel. So I'm gonna go up to my text options here and I'm going to choose one that I like. I'm gonna choose this Anita Jane one. I think that's a really nice option for adding on that cursive handwritten look onto your cards. So I'll just type in happy holidays. I'll click outside of the box and then I can move this text box on top of my image. Now with this text, I want it centered in this text box. It makes it a lot easier for me to center all of this text box on my image. So let's just go up to our top tool modifier bar here and I'm going to select this centering option for my text. Now I can drag this up and it gives me a square around it that I can actually match up to the different sides and center this text box on my shot. And I need to make it a bit bigger, so let's go to about 315 with this. Just like that. Now let's head up and choose add at our top to a modifier bar and that's going to add a new text box. With this text, we need to add on a different font that makes it easier to read. With this text box, we're actually going to add in the name of the family and also the family members on the bottom here. So we need a text that can be legible and easy for anyone to read. I'm just gonna head up here and choose a different text for that, or a different font rather, and I'm going to choose this Avenir Condensed Hand. So it looks like it's more of a handwritten font on the holiday card. And I'll just type in from the Millers. Then what I wanna do is just move this text box down and position it 
so that it reads from the millers on the bottom. And we need to make the text a bit smaller, so let's use about 144. Perfect. Now I can just drag this down. And again, I'm gonna head up to my top tool modifier bar here, and I'm going to choose that centering option just to place that text right in the middle, just like that. And again, I'm just using this text box to center the text on my image, basically placing this top little handle here in the center of the holiday card. Perfect. So now I'm going to enter on here. I'm going to change the font size to about 96. And now I'm just going to type in random family members names for the holiday card. It could be whatever text you want to put on here. I'm just going to type in random family member names. So I'll just type in Don, Ted, Bill, Grace, and Jen. Perfect. Just like that. We have a nice little holiday card here or a basic holiday card with some text at the top and some text at the bottom. But we obviously need to liven up the holiday mood here. So let's add on some creative elements using our local adjustments and some custom brush shapes. So with this holiday card, I actually want to strictly apply these local adjustments to my background. That way they're not applied onto the photograph here. So let's make sure we have the background layer selected and then I'm gonna head into my local adjustments tab. With this local adjustment layer, I'm going to use it to paint on different creative elements using custom brush shapes. So I'll just rename this one star because we're going to use a star brush shape with this layer. So I'm gonna head down here to my paint with color option and that's going to allow me to paint in these local adjustments with pure color, whatever color I want to work with. Once I've chosen paint with color, I'm going to click on this rectangle with the color inside of it. Now with this colors dialog open, I'm actually going to head down to this color dropper here and I'm going to hover over an area of red on my shot, this area of red right there on the Santa's hat and I'll click that and that's going to allow me to use that color to brush on these different shapes. So I rename this one star because I was playing with this earlier and it looked really nice to add on a creative star element. So let's head up to our top tool modifier bar here. I'm gonna go into shape and I'm gonna scroll through these shapes here until I find that star shape. Now that I've found that star shape, the next thing I wanna do is make sure that my feathering is at zero. If my feathering is anything more than zero, it's going to be kind of a blobby shape on your shot. So just make sure that the feathering is at zero so you can paint in your shape's nice and clean. So what I wanna do here with the star shape is I'm just going to make it a bit bigger with the bracket keys on my keyboard, just like that. And then I'm going to rotate this star using shift, option, and then the bracket keys on my keyboard. So shift, option, and the bracket keys will allow you to modify the angle of your brush. But you can also modify the angle by heading up here to your top tool modifier bar here, and then you can modify it there. So I'll just make it a little bit bigger again, or actually maybe it's a bit smaller. And I'll just paint this on here. And then I can add on another creative one up here at the top. I'll rotate it again so it's a different angled star. Just like that. And then I'll make one more really small one right there. Perfect. Now that we've added on those stars onto our shot, I'm going to add on another local adjustment layer and I'm going to rename this one tree. This is going to be a creative tree element that we paint onto our scene. So I'm going to head down to my paint with color now and same thing, I'm going to enable it and then choose this color rectangle right there and then I'm going to go into my color dialog, grab this color dropper and this time I'm going to find a green color in our shot. And so I can see they're painting on some green onto these cookies here. So let's just grab this green color in here, just like that. Now I wanna head up to my shape here and I'm going to choose this tree shape. With this tree shape, I'll make it a bit bigger and I'll actually make the angle zero so that it's completely level, just like that. And I'll maybe make it a bit smaller so that it fits and then we can just paint this tree right onto our shot, like that. 
So now we have our star and our tree. I think the only thing we need is a little bit of a snowy effect. So to do that, I'm going to add another adjustment. I'll rename this one snow. I'm going to head down to my paint with color option. I'll use a specific color from the image. And this time I'm going to grab a light blue from this cookie here. Just like that. Then I'm going to head up to my shape and I'm going to choose the circular round brush. Now what I want to do is just place different size round uh, circles onto my scene to look like snow and give it a bit more of a creative feel. So let's just make a, a larger brush stroke up here. And then maybe a smaller one down here. A couple small ones there. Maybe a larger one over here. Larger one on this side. Just like that. So now if we head over to our local adjustments here and we turn these local adjustments off, Those creative elements really add a lot more holiday cheer onto the card and make it not so bland and boring. And again, you can modify any of those colors that you want on your brush shapes, and you can modify the creative brush shapes that you paint into your shot. The last thing I wanna show you is just a quick website that you can use to download free fonts if you wish to create different looking holiday cards with different fonts. So to use different fonts, I would recommend going to this website. So in your web browser, if you're looking to download completely free fonts that you can use on your holiday cards, this is the site that I use all the time to get awesome creative fonts. So it's called dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com. And what I typically do is I'll go to an area of fonts that I want, either basic or really anywhere in here, and I'll choose sans serif, and then I'll type in my text, let's just say, happy holidays. Then I'll go to more options and I'll choose 100% free. That means it's 100% free. You can do whatever you want with the font. Then I'll just choose submit. And I have all of these amazing fonts that I can use 100% free of use and I can use them on anything I want to.